What is going on you guys? So I hope you guys are all having a green week so far and today I wanted to talk to you guys about 5G stocks and why you should invest in them now. But before I get into that, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button and comment below. We're going very fast. 1K subscribers in two weeks. That's right, 1K in two weeks. Join my free Discord, drop a like, and let's get into the video. Alright, so the first stock I'm talking about is SNSR, which is Global X Internet of Things ETF. So it's an ETF of about 50 different stocks that involve in the semiconductor operations of 5G. So basically, as you can see on this one-year chart, it fell off with the markets due to the coronavirus, but has then recovered pretty, fa pretty fast compared to most of the other stocks within the bigger markets. So as we can see for the week, the stock is up. It's, it's down, actually. It is up 5% in the past month. And for the day, it is up 1%. But this is a long-term stock you guys got to think about. So looking right here, yeah. So SNSR holds 50 stocks over 41%, which are semiconductor names. Another trait confirming its potency as a 5G ETF. So this holds a lot of different companies and a lot of value behind 5G. So keep an eye on that one. The next one I'm going to be talking about, talking about is the NextG ETF, which is NXTG which is a weighted tier index of a global equity related to the next generation of digital cellular technology. So as on the one year chart, it looks fairly similar to SNSR. And, you know, looking at this right here, if you would have bought right here, you guys would have made about, you know, a 20% gain on your investment. And in this one year chart right here, keep in mind, it looks relatively strong going up. So this is also a good ETF for you guys to look at. And it's not that popular yet, but when it will, when it gains traction, the stock could potentially skyrocket. The next one I want to look at is 5G, FIVG. And it's basically a next gen connectivity stock and it tracks, you know, equities related to the 5G networks. And this is my favorite one out of all of them because it tracks these 5G stocks that are within the markets and as you can see it's slowly recovering and it recovered fairly quickly and on the one year chart it has a strong upward trend with you know a little bit of volatility but that comes along with the 5G stock and for the next one right here Marvel this is a company right here that they design develop and they sell integrated circuits and you know one thing I wanted to tell you guys is that you know the Marvel company right here it basically is trying to improve to uh, to beat the competitors within the 5G industry on their development and design of their integrated circuit boards. So if we can see this company partner with a major company like Verizon or T-Mobile or Sprint or any of those companies like that for their integrated 5G chips and, and circuit boards, this stock could potentially go over $100. It's up 8% today. For the week, 2.6, and on the month, it's up 19%. It has a strong upward trend. So definitely a stock for you guys to look at here. And the next one I want to talk about right here is XILINX. Not quite sure how to pronounce that, but XLNX is the ticker symbol. And this is also a company that is within the development industry of semiconductor devices related to the software of 5G. So it is another semiconductor field. And if we look right here, on the one week chart and the one month chart, it looks kind of choppy, but if we look at the three month chart, it has shown a strong upward trend and it pretty much fell off with the markets right here, right here, and it was showing, you know, a way to rebounce right here and then the markets crash and it's shown to recover. Well, be careful though in this 102 range, it shows rejection right there, so watch out for this stock, but you know, it's another great semiconductor company, which if they were to continue to make a deal, this would be a good buy.